On the mark, get set. We're riding on the internet. Oh Science my god. Whoa! What is this? Reality. You're going surfing on the internet. Today, we're going to be showing our friends, Andrew and Lisa, the basics of the internet. And we thought you might want to come along. It'll be cool. The internet gave us a whole world of exciting new possibilities. Not only do they play the typical computer games that Their all the clothes enjoy, and this computer is just so, so old. What is this? Having the internet in our home has had a great impact on our lives. Oh, okay. Rich keeps up with the stock market and our investments, and I'm able to pay the bills in half the time it used to take me. Is this and a commercial for the internet? This isn't supposed to be funny. Don't worry, though. It's still cool, and it's not just for boys, either. You're going surfing on the internet. What? That theme. Hi guys, Dad's just leaving, and Mom said we can have the computer all to ourselves. This is Make such sure bad acting. We've done some of their school reports, and not all that cybernet stuff. Okay. See you later, kids. I'll be Bye. home early. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Once you learn how to get online can't. yourself, you'll start so seeing cheesy. everywhere. What's a web page? Something ducks lock on? Aha! <laughs> uh -huh, very funny. <laughs> Let's start with the basics first. There are three important Hold on, let me just go shoot myself real internet. quick. Surfing the World Wide Web. Surfing? That sounds pretty cool already. And we're done and erupt. Then there are new <laughs> what a bitch. And then there's email. Email? I heard that's really neat. My cousin has a pen pal in Sweden and they write back and forth and it transmits right away and doesn't cost anything. Yeah. That's neato. They even talk with people all over the world on chat lines. First Little did they know of the pedophiles the behind the screen. Address. And all web addresses start with HTTP colon... Nah, you don't have to do that anymore. You just then type it in. You don't need it anymore. Web, you type in www. Does your computer have a modem? I think so. My grandpa bought it for us. It has all the latest types. She looks like she's reading lines. It sounds like it I should be pretty I think so. My grandpa it. bought it for us. But you might get your folks to help just to make sure everything's working okay. Now we need to open our browser. What's a browser? <laughs> It's an application. My three year old cousin has an iPad. Like, if he watches this, he'd be like, What are they talking about? Microsoft Internet Explorer came with our computer. Or Don't use Internet Explorer. Browser, Netscape Navigator. Well, apparently, that went out of business. That's simple. It means to transfer a file of information from a main computer or server to your computer. So that's how you get connected to the internet. How long is this? How long? I need to do a school project on ancient Egypt. What well, kid looks up Egypt? On under countries? Let's see. First, we check around the world. Oy. Next, countries, and there it is, Egypt. I can't believe how easy it is to surf the net. The typical abbreviations go like this: .com for commercial. Did not know that actually. .gov for government and .org for organization. Uh, I can't even take I can't it. How easy it is to get onto the internet. When you hear my parents talking about it, it sounds like it'd be so hard. Oh, more. Great. But let's say I want to use email. Ooh, Here what's an email? email? I've never heard of that. www.juno.com. Never heard of it. And www.mailzone.com. Never heard so, of it. I used to have AOL, and I thought that was all. I can't go another day without the internet. Call me the minute you get an email address. OK. <laughs> and Andrew, we can play interactive games on the net together. Oh, wow, yes. boy. Bye. Bye. Surf's up. See you on the net. That was the worst video I have ever seen. See you on the net. <laughs> so can you explain what you just watched? It was uh, like, uh, it was an instructional video. A tutorial on how to surf the net. That I had no use for because it's extremely outdated and I already know what to do. How would you describe the video's production? It was so... Old. That was terrible. The music is so cheesy and the lines are so cheesy. Surfing sounds fun already. Who comes up with the lines for this? If that kid was standing right here in front of me and he said that, I would be so tempted to punch him directly in the face. Why is it funny to see a video treating the internet like it's something that needs to be explained and taught? Because I guess like I was kind of like born into the internet age. I've always known the internet. It's like a joke to you because you're like, I know this. like. This is pathetic. How do you not know any of this? The internet is self-explanatory. You can have like a five-year-old an iPad and they'll already like be sending emails. This is a terrible video. Just so bad. I doubt anyone learned anything from this. The puns were awful. But in reality, back then that video was probably really helpful. Like, oh, internet provider, I should go there. Be honest, did you learn something in the video that you didn't know? No. I knew everything. I learned that there were like 
older browsers and stuff I've never heard of. Learned that .com is commercial. I never knew what .com was for. It's really, really useful stuff, you know? I always needed to know that it meant commercial. Do you find it interesting that there's something like the internet that you use all the time, but you don't actually know how it fully works, you just use it? Um, uh, wow, God, you're gonna... Oh, I don't like thinking about this type of stuff. Why should I spend the time when there are people who get paid to do that? I don't get paid to do that. I don't know how anything works. I don't even know how a camera works or a fridge or like a sink. But they're just there and you just know how to use them. Do you remember the first time you used the internet? I actually don't because I've been using it my whole life. I can't remember a time where I haven't touched a keyboard. Probably World of Warcraft. Websites like Nickelodeon and stuff like that. Before YouTube even existed, there was the site called Stupid Videos. Stupid videos. I went on Barbie.com. Barbie.com. My older sister, she uh, went on Barbie. She would get off and like, I'd sneak on and be like, this is amazing! <laughs> Let's test some of your internet knowledge. Oh, dang it! Do you know what a modem is? No. 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 A modem is something in the computer? I don't know what it does, but it's something that connects me to the internet. It's the thing your internet go from comes from, right? Uh, is that, is that basically what it is? So right now, if I said, hey, let's go on the internet, what would you have to do? I turn on the computer, and I go on the internet. Turn on my computer, and then click Google Chrome, or Internet Explorer, or Firefox, and then I'd be on the internet. Well, it used to be, I turn on the computer, I go to the internet, and I have to dial. I'm gonna play for you the noises that you'd hear every time you'd connect to the internet. <laughs> Sounds like a fax machine. Sounds like you're trying to, like, talk to aliens. See, we put this in our music. It's like some of the dubstep music I listen to now is in trap. That's annoying. And you'd have to wait with that. Oh my gosh, no, that would drive me crazy. I would give up. And now you're online. Oh. Look, I've made it to Google. There was no Google. Oh. I'll stick to my phone. There was no cell phone then. Dang. And you had to connect it to your landline, so no one could use the phone if you were on the internet, and you couldn't go on the internet if someone was on the phone. What? <laughs> Why? The struggle. <laughs> bad, bad memories. My mom was on the phone with someone, saw her two hours. Ethan, get off the internet! Get off the computer! I need the phone! <laughs> no, Mom! I'm trying to play Barbie! <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard of services called Minitel, Prodigy, or America Online? No. Nope. Never. America Online? <laughs> No, never heard of any of those. Have you heard of AOL? Yeah. Yeah. America yeah. Online. That's AOL. <laughs> really? That's what it means? I, I, I didn't know that. Before there was easy access to the internet we know today, there were services that you'd use to go online and have access to things like email and news, but only a select amount of things were available. You even had to pay for it by the month, sometimes even by the hour. Dang. Hell no, I'm not paying for email. It's so weird like that. You just didn't have everything. You had to actually like, sign up for stuff, and if they weren't on AOL, if they were on, what was it, Prodigy or something, you couldn't interact. We take the things we have for granted nowadays. YouTube and Google is like my life. I'm nothing without those things. What would I be doing in the 90s? It's hard to wrap your mind around how, like, how far we've gotten since then. So last question, when you see something made not that long ago that is talking about how the brand new internet and how it works, what do you think 15 to 20 years from now people are gonna think about today's technology? We're probably gonna laugh and like be like, oh my god, the internet was so slow back then. They're probably glad they're not living in this generation. It's gonna be the same reaction. I think we're gonna laugh at it. How could our computers be this thick? Like, that's so big. They're all their holograms. Like. Hey, Joey, remember Google? Yeah, I remember Google. They're like touching the air and already knowing everything. Oh god, someone's probably gonna like, if someone sees this video, they're gonna be like, man, I wanna punch that kid right in the face. They're gonna be able to like teleport into the video. And they're literally gonna be able to punch me in the face. Welcome to the end screen.